Okay, here's how the 18 one is going to mount inside of the body of this thing. And you can see this hole right here. This is where the red charging light or the red charging lead that came with the light normally lived. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and put this white uh, regulator lead down in there, run a couple of wires up to the board. Uh, there shouldn't be any problem with that at all. And then we'll go ahead and mount up everything else. But anyway, this is more or less how that thing's going to sit inside the body of this uh, big spotlight. Okay, here's where I've got the board mounted. It's down inside now and fastened in. I've temporarily hooked an L3 to it in my 48 lead board. And I'm going to use 6 volts on it, which is what the battery is going to be. And I'm going to try to see if we'll light that lead. Yep. So that shows when I press the trigger that it's going to turn on like it's supposed to. And actually we get a little ooch, ouch. Okay, and actually you see we might get a little output out of that guy. So it looks like the board's going to fit in there okay. What I'll do now is go ahead and get the LEDs into the uh, lens, assemble it, put the battery in, and away we go. Okay, this is one final look here before I lay the battery inside and then get with the reflector. I was going to do that, but I had to rearrange the way I had L3 set up. So here's how it's all set up in there. And it's going to work out fine. Now I'll lay the battery in and give you a quick shot of that. There we go with the battery in there. I haven't hooked up the red lead yet. I do have the negative hooked up and I have to put the button back in. But there's kind of how it's going to look. Here's the end view of it. Everything's mounted underneath that 6 volt lead acid battery. And it does work. I have already tested that. We'll see that in the final product. There's my little white... Oops! Dumped the battery out. There's my little white lead that's coming off of the base of the sack. Okay, I'll go ahead and put the battery back in and uh, do the reflector. Okay, I'll show you a couple of steps on the reflector. Here's the first portion. Here's the six LEDs. And they're going to be adjusted accordingly so we can get good reflection out of it. But uh, there's the six. The three will be mounted in the center. And here's the AV plug here. And I'm connecting it up right now. As soon as I've got that all done, we'll take and start assembling, and we'll see how it works. Well, just about ready. Uh, sitting around here waiting for some of the sealant. We've got to seal the connections there on the six LEDs. And then we've got this little package of three LEDs that's going to go on the top. And so we're just waiting for that stuff to set up. Then we'll do the final assembly and put the three on top of that little stack there and clean up everything, get the fingerprints off, put it together. I'd say we're probably only about 25-30 minutes away. Okay, this is the last phase. I put the trigger back in. This is the on-off switch and it also has a hold switch on it. There's the reflector, the six LEDs in the back, the three LEDs up in the front. Here, for example, is the AV plug right here. Here's the wire that's going to come up from L3 and hook to that. Everything else hooks up with little single-ended connectors. And I'll go ahead and hook that stuff up, put the battery in, and guess what? We'll see if it works.